Hey, he says he's almost there. Hey. Homie says he's almost there. Alright, then. Alright, go to the sign. Is he in the green jeep? I think so. You said a dog, right? Alright, get back. Alright. Later. I was 15 it was like one of the only times I sold crack like I said before I don't like to deal with it because the people are more fiends than even heroin so, and so I went to go sell someone a 30 at the super Walmart he's telling me he only had ten dollars can I front him the rest and when I told him no he got mad and he tried to swing at me I ended up beating him up I was on top of him and his little brother around my age maybe a little bit older got out and stabbed me with a flat screwdriver um, that's why I don't sell crack no more. The Indians were here, some of my family on my grandfather's side. My grandfather's mother is closely related to some Indians. My family has been here before the white culture, before a lot of um, Caucasian people moved in. My family has been on Canyon Road for a long time. It's where we're from. Santa Fe is where we hail from. We were here before that. Our family dates back generations and generations, hundreds of years. A lot of white people will do art and just because they're white or they got money and stuff, they're automatically best artist in New Mexico, fucking $100,000 piece. For what? It's probably a copy of something. What makes the real New Mexican artist is tradition. It's what's in our blood, it shows who we are, where we're from what we've done. It's who we are, it's our heart. That's what the real Mexican artist is. My uncle was a real New Mexico artist, born and raised in Santa Fe. This is our work, all done by hand. I'm gonna send you my audio books. I know where you, I know where you live, bro. Alright, but remember when you took the Uber? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a long time ago. So something, let me know then, brother, what's popping. Well, I'll be soon. Alright, well, fucking call me. Do you have my number? Um, no, send it to me. I don't like this Facebook shit. I know. Send it to me. At the age of nine, I started selling hard drugs because with my family, I didn't have a choice. We weren't the best off. Sometimes we needed to eat. Sometimes we needed water, light, shit like that. Because what my family had money was for was barely enough for clothes. We had to stick together because a lot of us were about off. A lot of us got addicted. It's not what everyone looks at it as. Like, we're bad people that we like to do shit like that. We like to rob, we like to steal, we like to kill, shit like that. We, that we like getting hides. We're not taking care of ourselves, we're taking care of someone else. It reminds me of how my big brother was with me. When I was about 9 or 10, when I made my first sale, it kind of changed me because the person I made that sale to, he actually overdosed. So it kind of made me immune to stuff like that.
people look down on us because a lot of us are drug dealers, we're gang members, or we got a lot of power in gangs, we run a lot of drugs. It's not our choice, it's who we are, it's what we had to do. It's how we survived.